Welcome to Two Poor Artists, where we're poor at having earthly treasures that moth and rust destroy and people break in and steal. But mostly, we're poor at making art. I'm Isaac. And my name is Benj. Yep, as you can probably tell since we're starting off quoting the Bible, we've given, we've gotten another topic directly from our pastor. From the lips of the pastor to the paper in front of us. Mm -hmm. For those of you that uh, that aren't regulars on our channel, why why did you come here? But besides yeah, that, which question, which of your friends question. is tricking you right now into <laughs> watching this video? You might you might know, or you would you would know if if you watched regularly that we often get our uh, messages from uh, sermon titles. We get our titles from yeah because yeah, if you've ever looked original at, clickbait. If you've ever looked, yeah, it's true. You ever drive by a church and they have like that. You know, like the, the sign thing. out front that they change. It's clickbait, right? Mm -hmm. And we're all about clickbait if it gets people to learn about real art. Mm -hmm. So sermon titles are brilliantly titled to give us, you know, titles for art. Yeah. You know, because they, they take some interpretation. You read the title and you're like, hmm, I want to know more about that, you know? Right. So hope probably you go we, to the sermon. But we provide more context. More context. Very yeah. wrong. Possibly blasphemous. I mean, it's possible. But... Definitely more context. Basically, what I'm trying to say is, is what you're about to see us draw is most likely not what was preached on mm -hmm. this Sunday yeah. morning. So what we're what basically our title was going to be, uh, the where the treasure is, your heart lies also. But that's like eleven words, and it doesn't say lies, and it doesn't say lies. So there's yeah. there's no good puns in no that title. Puns. Uh, so we're just going to draw heart treasure, heart treasure. Yeah. yeah, we simplified two, it down to two words. Two words. We've heard that this current generation of Gen Zers and and beyond just doesn't have the attention span to read a full title. So we figured, mm -hmm. why write a full title? You know, we're yes. just going to go with two words: heart treasure. Yes, heart, heart treasure. treasure. We get to, we we simplified the Bible verse down to two words, mm -hmm. and that's what we're going to draw. Yep. So that's what we're drawing. How many and, more times can we say, and, and that's I'm, what we're going to draw? And I'm going to draw first. Yeah. Me, Benj. Yeah, no, keep stalling. Keep stalling. The people, first one I hear draw. people like it when these videos go for two and a half hours long, and they get mm -hmm. to spend... Yeah, they're like, if it's not ten minutes before we see the pen touch the paper, uh -huh. yeah. is it even a two-part artist video? Yeah. I'm going to start drawing right now. Well, uh, is that a nose? Three minutes in. Is there any other way to draw? Nose first. Didn't we learn from Dr. D that you're yeah, supposed to draw, true. draw the nose Dr. first? Dr. D last week, one of the three Dr. Ds that I drew in our 3D video. If you haven't checked that out yet, somehow it became our most viewed video. Mm -hmm. So if you're watching today's video saying, wow, I really liked that 3D video, first of all, I'm disappointed Yes, that you watch us but i'm also in, i'm glad in a way because you get to learn with us about what real art is mm -hmm. and just like vegans now you can go out into the world and tell everybody how they should also be real artists you can criticize people who still use paint and color mm -hmm. anybody who's not using a ballpoint pen you can laugh at museum pieces because museums have like they you know full of of bad art that have color yeah we were invited All yeah. real art Ballpoint pen, black, black ink, ink only. Uh -huh. The way God intended. Mm -hmm. How do we know that? Because he gave us squids. And what are they full of? Ink. Yes. Is there anywhere else you can get ink from? Yeah. I don't no, think so. The original art supplies. Yeah. They even come with a ballpoint pen inside them. They do them. have a ballpoint. Go look it up. We're not making this up. Real squids have a bone. They don't have many bones, but they have like a cartilage bone on the inside mm -hmm. that is perfectly shaped like a pen. So you literally have a sack of ink and a pen right there to start your drawing with. So basically what we're saying is if you don't have any ballpoint pens because, you know, you are even poorer than poor artists. Mm -hmm. Go find a squid. Go find a squid. <laughs> you, you wrestle what? it. Get it. Pull the bone out. Dip it in the ink and, and get to work. Yep. That's what we're saying. It's a shame that this man is trapped in a potato sack. No, it's it's one of those. Here, I'll even like draw the it's like uh, a sleep sack for a baby. You know how like some sleep baby scientist is like, babies actually like it if you trap them in a pillowcase. Something about something about a pillowcase is just like a womb. I'm told. 
I don't remember. I don't remember uh, being in the womb much anymore. But you do remember being in a pillowcase. Yeah. No, you have to get like a body pillowcase when you're an adult. You wrap yourself up in it. Mm-hmm. Basically the same thing. Yeah. Except not as gross. Do you remember being, being born? <laughs> no, I'm not Monk Adrian. Monk yeah, from, from that show. show Monk. It's true, he did remember it. I feel like it's a mercy that humans can't remember being born. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, we should change the topic to anything else. You know? People people always, you know, because it's like, it's warm and then it's cold. and then you disagreed with me. <laughs> And then some doctor picks you up by your leg and spanks you and you cry. And that's like your introduction to life. It's rough. Your introduction to life outside the womb. You know, because you've been, you've been living inside for months now. Nice and warm and cozy. And mm-hmm. you don't even have to chew. It's so chill. It's just pumped right inside your belly button. You know? And then suddenly, light, cold, spank. We should draw that someday. <laughs> Light cold spank. The miracle, of, <laughs> the miracle of birth. Uh, uh, Maybe I, we should. I disagree. See, this is how we brainstorm Whole, ideas on this channel. Wholeheartedly. I see this man. This... You guys would be disappointed in hearing how long it took <laughs> us. Like, even though we're like, like our pastor came out to us and said, you guys should draw this. It still took us. <laughs> A good like, seven or eight good. or nine minutes to come up with this brilliant title that was only two words to simplify it down for the ADHD uh, to- uh, intolerant no, like crowd. Now. I didn't ADHD want to... filled crowd. The ADHD I, having crowd. I didn't want to write so many words. Yeah, I mean, who does? Like, I haven't been in school in a while. When when was the last time I had to write something? Uh, every week on this channel, we have to draw it. We have to write a title. I noticed your man is a turtle. <laughs> is that is no. that intentional? He's he has wearing, like a turtle shell. He's wearing one of those like apron things uh, when you go to the doctor office. What's the back of him? He just has a striped like, shirt. It, no, like you know how like they don't have he's a back. Naked. Yeah, like they don't have a back, and they just like here these strings will cover the back. You know, I am fully perfectly well. I'm fully convinced that some like creep invented hospital gowns. Mm-hmm. You know. Some absolute yeah. creep They're who's like, just like, what if we can force everyone who comes in to not wear clothes that mm-hmm. stay on? You yeah. know? Like, like, we're kind of horrible. Everyone design. will be perfectly comfortable having yeah. a couple strings cover the yeah. back No, they're not. You ever tried to walk in a but, hospital but gown? The front will be covered. <laughs> yeah, barely. <laughs> like, first of all, it's very, like, is there a logic behind it? Like, <laughs> some nudist colony... Like, person who's really pushing nudism in, in public is like, you know what? <laughs> I'm on a hospital board now. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only And it's way. like, in my hospital, no one's going to wear any clothes. And they're like, no, no, you can't do that. He's like, well, they at least have to turn in their clothes when they get there. <laughs> I'll give them clothes. <laughs> there, there's like new, a 50-50 chance they'll clothes. fall off. <laughs> <laughs> it's horrible. Yeah, you don't you don't want to walk through a hospital. You ever visited somebody in the hospital? You have to prepare for that. You take your kids to the hospital to see someone. You're like, kids, just just know, <laughs> there's a good chance that you're gonna see half of everyone in this hospital. <laughs> half of everyone. <laughs> yes, it should be like an age limit. It's the worst. That stethoscope and, you drew is wonderful, and it's always the exact opposite of like the doctor's gowns. Yeah. Because doctors they, wear like layers. They wear layers and they always have like a coat yeah. that covers the back. It's just like, can I just borrow They're your like, coat? Hey, uh, <laughs> yeah. Do you mind? Maybe it's like a maybe it's like a power thing. <laughs> you know, the doctors are like, <laughs> We are doctors. We wear. We have our bodies covered. You are a patient. <laughs> you submit to me because I have the clothes. clothes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just like a power, a power trip that all doctors are on. You know? Yeah. You ever try to tell them, like, no, I don't? Like, I've been in the hospital, like, twice, and they're like, mm-hmm. here's a f- ill-fitting robe. No, walk from here to that room down the hall. And everyone's just snickering at you the whole time as you, like, desperately. Because, like, you have to hold the back of it closed. Like, that's mm-hmm. the thing. If it's stayed on, 
if there was a chance of it staying on, that's fine. You mm-hmm. have to physically hold it on your body. Yeah. It's, you know? It, it's the worst. Especially if you're, like, having tests done. Yeah. Too. Because it's like, you're wearing this, and it's like, okay, go get the x-ray. And Down the hall, you, past the, the stands yeah. full of people. Yeah. <laughs> you're, like, walking down, and then they're like, oh, and you can't wear that during yeah. the test. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, hospitals were invented by. It's like, but don't worry, we'll put this washcloth. Oh yeah, on, on the important <laughs> bits. Yeah. I wasn't gonna take this any further, but you just did. It's horrible, you know. Mm-hmm. All hospitals were clearly just designed by you know power hungry nudists. <laughs> power hungry nudists. <laughs> this man's arm is broken, right? Like it's uh, hanging by a thread. You no, know, when you I hear just... people say that, you're like, how bad is it? They're like, it's hanging by a thread, <laughs> you know, because you chopped it off or something. This guy's whole arm is just a thread. He hasn't. Uh, oh. I was, There's I was, so much I was 3D attempting. going on in this drawing. I was attempting. There's so many the, layers. The 3D-ness. Yeah, I mean, it's His not... arm's coming out of, like, a weird spot on his body. He doesn't have another arm, so that's okay. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I realized. He could be a one-armed doctor. It makes using a stethoscope a bit trickier, but... <laughs> but they, like, gave him a special lab coat. That yeah. Doesn't even have yeah. a second arm. Exactly. Built it just for him. It took him an extra two years of medical school for them mm-hmm. to, you know... <laughs> find that lab coat i need to uh draw a skeleton i guess <laughs> oh yeah yeah no, totally like, like That's this, what we all thought we this, were all thinking it he's holding up an x-ray oh i'm sure i'm sure you're getting to where the pun might be here uh-huh but uh i've realized oh is that it is that his head no it's like the 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 neck. It's gross. Oh, okay. I, I guess I see it now. So, you know, you know how spines are. Oh, I, I sort of kind of see. He's a one-armed doctor. Like, if you go back and watch all of our videos, you will find one-armed people more, <laughs> op- more often than you see them in real life because we just forget arms sometimes. Maybe he's got it tucked in his sometimes jacket. Sometimes one-armed people are cool. <laughs> yeah, like one legged people are always cool. How, how many peg leg? How many spines do you have? I have one spine. How many do you have? And then and then he's got hip bones. They kind of just go out like this. You mean those, like- those look like hip bones, right? Not a it looks like skull a pig, peeking it's out a pig, from... It's a pig's nose. <laughs> Why does he have a pig's nose down there? And he's got he's got some ribs. Somewhere at home, there's a doctor just like throwing something at the screen. <clears throat> Do you really think someone that is, uh, like a doctor? What what's like? I I would say like intelligent enough, but I wouldn't insult. I would say I I wouldn't. Like, that's what I mean. Like, serious enough to dedicate their education to being a doctor. Are you are you saying all doctors are really serious? I thought they were just power-hungry nudists. Right, well... Okay. That's not very serious. You're right. If you're a power-hungry nudist, leave us a comment. <laughs> and by power-hungry nudist, I mean how many, how many ribs does a human have? You have 33 vertebrae. And you have... If I wasn't so fat I could feel my own ribs <laughs> oh now I'm just looking up like animal ribs oh don't google human ribs right after looking at animal ribs it's conflicting because <laughs> you're like ooh those look good and then you're like but cannibalism is wrong and then, and then you're <laughs> like, they're the same I think there's 10 on each side <laughs> Head on each side. <laughs> I, I feel that has to be wrong. I mean, they're not, some of them are small, so they're like half ribs. Maybe is that why they call them short ribs? Is that what short ribs are? It's like the shorter ribs on the rib cage. Where have you heard short ribs? Like at restaurants, mm. <laughs> the kind of restaurants that I frequent. <laughs> um, 
I don't understand this. You just drew a pig nose skeleton. No, that's what is the this? Hips. They're not. Now I have to determine how Who I... hips are smaller than their ribs. What kind of human have you ever seen that it's like it goes from the, <laughs> the ribs and it just tapers down to this tiny little hips? This, he has a dad bod. <laughs> okay. Maybe. But he still has like there's, there's like, no, it doesn't make any sense. You know, I'm like, looking at him. <laughs> we can see him. He does not have like uh, hips that small. Like, <laughs> like, like Gru from Despicable Me. I guess he's got like the tiniest hips imaginable with the just a big old. Yeah, Gru has a great, body. A great dad bod. He's like, but I still, I like, I get that he drew ribs and spines as you put it and mm-hmm. a pig nose but why well <laughs> because <laughs> just uh, you take your time heart <laughs> take your time heart treasure oh right is is ribs ribs no. is heart treasure no so he has like where's where's your heart up here I think what he's really saying is sir you accidentally swallowed a pig's nose which side is the is the heart on the left the left it's side. It's on our left the, side. The, so it's right here where his hand conveniently is. We'll go with that. That's where tech, your heart's actually like inside the ribs, isn't it? Yes. Well, I'm not drawing it there. Ribs go like around. He's got. He's got right here. It's a cage. They're in the cage. I don't I don't recommend googling rib cage. I don't like medical stuff, you know? My sister growing up used to watch shows on the like the Discovery Channel that shouldn't have been allowed on TV called like, you know, like ER disasters or mm. bloody bloody ER room yeah. with a video camera. That, so. that was the worst one. That was a terrible show. But it was always like, you want to watch real surgery? And I was like, I'd rather poke my eyes out. I still feel that way. Mm-hmm. You know those sick people back in the old days when they didn't only have, uh, you know, they didn't just stand in the hospital hallways watching you walk, but they also sat in a gallery and watched you be operated on? Mm-hmm. Operating theaters, they called it. Yeah. I'm telling you, doctors are just power hungry. Power hungry nudists. <laughs> You may be rich, and I may not have an arm, but that doesn't mean we can't be friends. You may be rich, but you're missing half your ribs. You may be rich, but that doesn't give you an excuse to swallow a pig's nose. You may be rich, but you do incredible... Oh, no, I'm just going to stop. This guy looks way too happy. To be at the doctor. I'll also point that out. You ever gone to the doctor happy? Has yeah. anyone ever gone to the doctor happy? I like going to the doctor. You like going to the doctor. Yeah. Why wouldn't I? Because it's horrible. Especially the dentist. You are a strange, strange man. Nobody likes going to the doctor. <clears throat> it's like bottom two things ever. Like going to jail and going to the doctor. But, I'm not sure which one I'd rather do. But you always feel better after you go to the doctor. No, you always well because yeah, you're leaving the doctor. No, That's because not, they, that doesn't count. They make they give you medicine or whatever you need. No, normally they're like, well, actually, I have no idea what's going on with you, so you should probably just rest and pay me three hundred dollars. That's not usually what. That's happens. pretty often. And you're like, why did I even come? This was so stressful, and I hated it. And I sat in that that's, smelly waiting room. Plus, they made me wear these clothes that I fell out of. That's only three times. That's only what three happens. times I fell out of them. That's only what happens if you go there, and you clearly just have a cold. No, no, because you go and you're like, I've had a cold for ten and a half weeks, and they're like, Well, have you slept all ten and a half weeks? And have you consumed a small lake's worth of liquids? And you're like, yes, I have. And they're like, well, it's probably not a sinus infection, but we're not going to check or anything. Speaking of checks, if you could make that out to Dr. Know-It-All. <laughs> yeah, you... Uh, I mean, in, in hindsight, the fact that I go to Dr. Know-It-All is probably <laughs> part of the problem. 
Yeah, that's a dog's name. But in this case, this guy's problem is that instead of a heart, he has money. Oh. Because his heart is treasure. Treasure heart. Is it, what kind of money is that? Like a dollar bill? It's a dollar bill. Just How a single dollar. A single dollar? Yeah. Man. He says rich, but <laughs> this is <a> relative term. <laughs> Maybe his name's Rich. <laughs> Uh, that's probably it right yeah and he's not happy like look at look at his face that's not a happy face what the guy on the table yeah that's uh the doctor looks like he's a little sleep deprived that's a concern like oh it's like shocked he's like shocked yeah oh like look at how wide his eyes are yeah it's amazing how just talking about it makes me see them differently (laughs) (laughs) you know he's like oh man like i see i see he hasn't moved in like many a moment after hearing this i know he's just had that look on his face for too long i now realize i shouldn't have gotten that heart to money transplant and then the rest of the audience is wondering well how is he still alive i was reading i was reading the bible and it said i should replace a treasure. My heart with money? <laughs> heart with money? <laughs> That's not what the Bible says. Yeah, he read it wrong. If you've never read the Bible, he no, read... the Bible does not say replace your heart he, with money. He read the the book of Mammon. By that accident. just means money. That is the go- Greek god of money. Money, yeah. It's a bad version of the Bible. <laughs> this is weird. Do you know that? <laughs> Why? You know your drawing's weird? What's weird about it? Because he's still alive. Yeah. Plus, you know the mo- you- Can I just hate on doctor's offices for another minute? I'm, just, <laughs> I'm, I'm feeling bad for this guy in all kinds of ways. Not only is the doctor just like condescending and one-armed, but <laughs> not that I have anything against one-armed people, but when they're condescending, you'd be like, he was really condescending, and you can't leave out the fact that he had one arm. You're like, I almost wonder if he had one arm because of how condescending he was. <laughs> you know? Like, it st- makes you start to wonder. But... I'm looking at this poor guy and I'm like, not only is he half naked, yeah, but he's sitting on the world's cheapest tissue paper. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you hate, don't you hate that? I go to the, every time I go to the doctor, urgent care, I, I don't sit on the table. I like sit in like a normal chair in the room. Mm-hmm. And then they're all, they're always like, well, we got to check your ears. So can you go sit on that tissue paper? And you're like, why? What is mm-hmm. the tissue? Oh, Cause we can charge you for the tissue paper. You know, it's like. $17 a foot of tissue paper they charge you for, probably. <laughs> a tongue depressor? What's that? Nineteen ninety nine. This tongue depressor is made out of genuine pine. <laughs> they only charge it like that if they're charging the insurance companies. Yeah, but you still hate it. <laughs> Those of us that don't have insurance don't get charged like that. Mm, I think you probably do. You just don't realize that's what the charges are for. <laughs> it's not for anything the doctor did, because they do literally nothing most of the time. But yeah, you sit on the tissue paper, and then like, especially if you're one of those gowns, you're mm-hmm. you're literally like, butt to paper, you know? Yeah, it's terrible. Yeah, that part, that part is. But usually, when you go to a regular doctor's office, you're not in those gowns on the paper. I guess not the gown part. Yeah, you know, like like you don't walk into it. <laughs> you're like local doctor. I mean, and they're like, put on this gown <laughs> if you do. <laughs> If you do, you know what if kind of a doctor they are. If that's the doctor you have, <laughs> go. He's very old school. Very authentic. Mm-hmm. I leave every time. He doesn't even let me change back into my clothes. <laughs> I'm like changing in the car. <laughs> yes. Driving home in my robe like some escaped mental patient mm-hmm. or something. <laughs> you know, you ever see somebody in a hospital gown not in a hospital? You mm-hmm. know that they've escaped a mental institute. That's true. That's it. Because why would any yeah. sane person wear a hospital gown? Mm-hmm. I guess unless they're like and, and you might also be one nudist. Of you, why are these mental patients always wearing these gowns? Because of the power hungry nudist doctors. Yeah, because there's know? no reason. Yeah, there's no reason that you would wear a gown. And it's like, oh, it's so you can get the the brain scans or whatever, you know, the MRIs. You don't have to put the gown. Like I've got some MRIs. Yeah, wearing my clothes. Exactly right. There's no good reason for the gowns. Mm -hmm. If you're a doctor, can you please explain, other than the fact that you're a power-hungry nudist, (laughs) why we have to wear them? Mm -hmm. Like, what the logic is? I don't know. All I know is that they make... They charge you $183 per gown. (laughs) You know? It's it's gross. Mm -hmm. Grossly inflated prices. But, you know, that's just the way of doctors. It's true. But this man has me, literal treasure in his heart. I think the worst part about doctors 
is insurance. The, yeah, the, I mean, money is the, the worst part. The, the, the major scam of insurance. Like, I've paid... I like how you're just fixing this guy's hair as you're yeah, saying this. Because I've paid in the you last... made the whole drawing better. In the last, like, four years, I've paid, like, $300 for all doctor's visits. Mm -hmm. But if I were to pay for insurance, it'd be, like, what, like $150 a month? Yeah, but, like, here's the thing. Like, if you, like... Even if you're only paying, like, $20 for insurance, it would be so much less. But here's the deal. If you fall down, like, an elevator shaft tomorrow, mm -hmm. you'll never be able to pay them back. Yeah, but then you just file for bankruptcy. Yeah, this is not good advice. And the then legal, seven years later... Do you see the legal team outside <laughs> pounding on the glass? No, it's great advice. No, no, no. They are, the, the financial team and the legal team are getting into it in there. They're going to start throwing fists. If I, had, if I had like a family that relied on my support, I would make different choices. But if I fall down an elevator shaft, what happens? You die. I file for bankruptcy. No. <laughs> No, they don't have that in heaven. <laughs> <laughs> they just like everyone knows you only break a couple bones when you fall down. An elevator it depends shaft. on how far down the elevator no. shaft shaft goes. Empire State Building, one story house. This same is thing. this is the, the legal team is literally foaming at the mouth. No, that's the physics team. Don't look team. at them. Don't <laughs> the physics team. Oh yeah, the lab coats. <laughs> yeah, and the beakers. They're holding. <laughs> We have such a good support staff here mm -hmm. at Two Poor Artists. It's not even, it's not even funny. Like they are so much smarter than we are. They tell us at least. Yeah, that's. What I don't. I don't know how much I believe them, but yeah. they're constantly like, "We're smarter than you. Mm -hmm. Put on this gown." <laughs> <laughs> We're drawing right now in gowns, hanging yeah. out of our gowns. <laughs> I don't even know why. <laughs> but, but people smarter than us told us to. Yeah. Too bad we have to pay for them. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. It's really like the financial team is going to have a, a heyday with this one. Just, mm -hmm. uh, pay monthly installments in case we actually, in case we might need their help once. Yeah. It's a good thing we pay the financial team in hard. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't, I don't really know how we pay the rest of them in life experience. I think I'll hand you the tablet now. Yeah. You know, cause people are sick of looking at this. They want to look at something else bad. Yeah. And they're probably tired of us talking about doctors. Well, then hopefully I won't draw doctors, but I'll be completely honest with you. I have no idea. No, I'm not going to draw doctors. I already know what I'm going to draw. It's going to be quite a thing. Uh, I hit the save as, and it took like 20 seconds to pop up this is riveting stuff this conversation yeah, you know i was talking to a deer fan of ours this morning a deer that was a fan yeah it's like a fawn a fawn came over a doe not a fawn a doe it was a Ray. man me fa <laughs> so Anyway, enough sound of music references. It's it's more that I was talking to a it was like a, a buck. Mm -hmm. He had antlers. Okay. But not really. And he said something to me that was related to what we were talking about just a second ago. I have no idea. <laughs> I was just trying to fill time because it was so boring and now it's disappointing yeah. and well, boring. I, I was just surprised at how long it took. What did I talk to a fan of? Oh, they asked me about having to... guests on our channel. And why we ha why we promised guests and haven't delivered. Oh, yeah. Well, we delivered once. Yeah, we've had guests once. Yeah. And he's like, you said you'd have more guests on in the new yeah. year. And it's like, well, there's still a lot of year left. <laughs> you know? Well, we, are, we are running out of it. We're saving up all the guests' appearances mm -hmm. for later in the year when guests, you know, want to be with us. No, they want to be with us. Yeah. And if you if you see the thing that people guests let us know uh the thing the thing is most of our friends so both me and Isaac work in the school system and most of our friends also work in the school system so this is a kind of busy time of year there's like no more breaks in school for the rest of the year but in the summer we'll have we'll, we'll definitely have more. I mean, don't say definitely. What if all of our guests run away? Well, uh, without other circumstances. Un under normal circumstances, you will see guests upon this very show. Yeah. Because we do have friends and guests, and we even know real artists that are good. 
Mm-hmm. They're not true. us. We're poor artists. We know. We know multiple professional artists. Yeah, we know really good artists, like people that. I mean, they don't all use just ballpoint pens, so they're not like real. Yeah, it's real, not like real. Like real they need artists. us, is what we're trying to say. Yeah, they need our expertise. <laughs> mm-hmm. So we'll bring them on and school them for you live and in person. Not in person. Yeah, it might be live. Yeah, might be. Anyway, I'm gonna draw our our, uh, our next anniversary That's of the up. channel is coming up. We should probably do something special and like put on our clothes and draw. <laughs> <laughs> no, drawing with our eyes open. Oh, <laughs> it'll be <laughs> super. <laughs> yeah, be a super episode. Won't that be great? Won't that be great? That's a reference to our Super Mario episode. Yeah, go watch that. The second time we drew Mario, with our, but this time with our eyes open. Yeah, it was it was wonderful, and everyone loves Mario, just like all kids love dinosaurs. Yes, we need to draw dinosaurs again for the children. For the children, I never realized how much a pirate hat and the Pope's hat were the same. <laughs> <laughs> trying to draw the, a pirate the pope, hat. The but... Pope's hat's taller. Is that the difference between the Pope and a pirate? Yeah. The height of the height, hat. Yeah. Pope and pirate, height and hat. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Some great alliteration for you English nerds. <laughs> Were you expecting me to say <laughs> <Yeah>. something? <laughs> no, I was, I was just, just letting, letting, us, it, letting it dwell. I didn't, I didn't want to ruin the moment. Do. You know, they're like <laughs> basking in the... That's what English nerds do. Oh. See this more. This to me looks more like, uh, like maybe not a sultan, but like Jafar. He has an eye patch. Does that help? Yeah, unless you draw the rest of the cobra on the top of the hat. <laughs> <laughs> maybe it is Jafar. Maybe we'll go with that in a second if I ruin this. <laughs> he just got an eye patch in a fight with, you know, his Yaga, parrot Yaga. Yeah. I'll give him a beard. Because hair covers a multiple of... A multiple? <laughs> covers, covers multiple. multiple. More, than, more than one thin can be covered by hair. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Haven't you Haven't you noticed that on this channel? We've sinned. <laughs> We've sinned. <laughs> it's, just, it's just a true statement. His hair is so gross, though. <laughs> it's a pirate. <laughs> but why is it like weird stubbles that that continue? <laughs> oh. Uh, why is why is the hair the sin? <laughs> <laughs> it's just how pirates are. Is this like bad beard the pirate? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was a good joke. Bad beard the pirate. We can go with that, maybe. <laughs> the pirates have eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> no, not something that that race has. <laughs> it's one of the main ways you know if you should be a pirate. <laughs> oh, he was born without eyebrows. <laughs> Guess you got a pirate yeah. on your hand. Time to make him a cabin boy. Get him ready. <laughs> There's nothing else you can do. Mom is like, no, no. <laughs> They're really light. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Painting them on. <laughs> They bring him out to sea. Mm-hmm. You know? What if you get your eyebrows burned off? Do you mm. have to become a pirate, or is that just an unfortunate optional accident? Optional at that point. It's optional. Yeah, not it's not a genetic issue. Maybe a pirate scarecrow. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering why you were t posing him. <laughs> Got a very interesting arm on that side. <laughs> I'm also not well, sure. His shirt is so baggy. I'm also not entirely sure where he's going to stand. <laughs> I guess I'm going to have to figure what, that out. What is the thing on the left there? This is his other arm. No, not uh, not on him. The, his arm. The, this arm. That. <laughs> You'll see. Like, I thought you were drawing like a skate park at first. Mm-hmm. Oh, that'd be interesting. Oh, does he have a hook? Of course, he's a pirate. 
you can tell because he doesn't have eyebrows. Oh, it's a real skinny hook. Yeah, so, like, <laughs> it's like a fishing hook. Yeah, it's the one he uses to pick his teeth after dinner. <laughs> you know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Pirates have those like overly baggy pantaloons. Mm-hmm. This guy's not wearing them. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's wearing skinny shorts. <laughs> That's pirate. <laughs> What's wrong with him? I like Everything. him. I like him a Everything lot. Everything's wrong with him. Pirate's fantastic. Like everything you draw. <laughs> what is that? Uh, stop making me joyful. Uh, <laughs> it's a boot, okay? But is it? I said it is, so it is. I said, therefore, it is. <laughs> What's it's, the other leg? It's a peg. Well, why doesn't it go down? <laughs> it's, it's like it's like his real calf. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, what they call a, that's what they call a natural peg. And it's so much thicker and better than his other leg. It's a natural peg. <laughs> it's like he just got the foot chopped off. What do you mm -hmm. do? You don't chop the rest of the leg off. You just hobble. On the what? Why would pirates have just a peg leg? Is this a joke? No. Oh. Like I'm just wondering. Like, how hard is it to just stick like a plank on the bottom of the peg so you have some amount of like, you know what? Like, you know what I mean? Like, a peg is hard to balance on compared to anything else. It's literally the hard, the worst thing to have. Oh, that's interesting how I drew that. I meant to draw him standing on top of that line. Um, <laughs> it's really going to throw off the whole perspective of this drawing now. Is that the, the back of the ship? What What is he standing on? I'm standing on an island, obviously. What's on, what is, is on the left? I don't understand your question. I don't understand this drawing. I don't understand it either, okay? <laughs> this is a hole. Okay. In the sand. And he's Down. he's standing somehow in front of the to foreground. Us. Like it's this is this is what I mean by I shouldn't have I I drew that line in the wrong spot. Mm -hmm. And that's how real art is. You know, you see this and you're like, that doesn't yep. look. The physics department again is just <laughs> crying. <laughs> they're passing around a box of tissues as they do. Yeah, they're like that that. <laughs> Don't even get me started in the art department. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, didn't, I didn't realize we were paid for an art department. I thought we were the art department. It's just kind of like... Is that who makes the thumbnails every time? Yeah, they're really good. <laughs> they, they add color, so mm -hmm. I can't stop them. Right. Yeah, don't ask. Don't don't judge us too harshly. We're busy men. We have to draw <laughs> once a week. <laughs> yeah. We got people for everything else. Mm -hmm. You know, we got to rest the, our, our artistic muscles. <laughs> it's a real outpouring of talent. <laughs> Once a week, <laughs> you have to save it up. How <laughs> save it up? How do we afford all these teams? Uh, promises and heartbreak. <laughs> Just tell that when do we get the hotel? Yeah, they're all promised a coupon for a half off <laughs> stay <laughs> every week. We we need you in the room while we draw. Well, yeah. in the in, in the, the room next in the door, adjoining room with the with the two way mirror. That we can see through. That we can see through. They, they can't. can't. They just hear. Yeah, they hear. And they have a feed to the screen. Yeah, so it's really odd that we don't have a... Yeah, like, why not just, mirror. like, a regular window? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> the, the studio, in case you're wondering, used to be an old interrogation room. <laughs> uh, yeah. Maybe. I mean, that's do. the only explanation I can think of. Right? Yeah. It's not like we're lying. Uh, <laughs> yeah, definitely not. All right, so... We're in a room. There's a room... Right to our, to my right, your left. Oh, there's a, oh, there's more than one heart in there. Uh, that's well, a rock. Okay. <laughs> that's a rock. <laughs> I was wondering. There's some rocks at the bottom of the pit. <laughs> rocks down here. This is like uncovered. Every a bunch pirate of rock. knows if you're gonna dig a hole and and throw things in it, you have to have a good good rock base. <laughs> okay. Every... Otherwise, they might they might sink into the 
sand. Physics department gave a thumbs up on that explanation. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> to event in prevent sinking. Mm-hmm. Anyway, uh, this guy right here, he's Treasure Heart the pirate. <laughs> <laughs> treasure Heart. Heart. You know, treasure mm-hmm. heart. Ah. Uh. <laughs> that's not a. T- that's not on the shirt. That's a cutout. <laughs> uh, right. Yeah. Yeah. Like his belly buttons, right there. Yes, yeah, it's. It, he has a tattoo there that says, "Treasure." <laughs> <laughs> so when he's standing mm-hmm. still, the heart lines up with treasure. Right. Uh huh. That makes sense. Yeah. He has one on the back too. You just can't see it. <laughs> same hole, same tattoo. Uh huh. Same word, treasure hunt. How how unfortunate. I think pirates for think everyone that has to be near this guy. Does he have a crew? Do people follow this man? In fact, he does. You just won't see them in this drawing. Oh, okay. okay. Complications. <laughs> Who's he pointing at then? If there's no one else. <laughs> hmm. That's a good question. That's what they call a lock. Oh, is it? I call it a d- almost circle. He has like helpers that help him. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. They like. Okay, fine. I won't. I don't want to take time to draw him a crew. Mm-hmm. He has like seagulls. <laughs> <laughs> Eagles that help. <laughs> Are they? You should like put a string that attaches. No, 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 no. That's what the... that's what I'm doing. That's 100. percent I just have to adjust yeah. the pen. It's like very thin. Where do you attach it on a seagull? <laughs> Here at the at the yeah, middle. At the body. This the wing. The body. No, the body. Yeah. Very thin. They all lift. <laughs> that one's going crazy. <laughs> uh. Anyway. Clearly not carrying much weight. <laughs> No. Are those and ones they, like dropping hearts. Yeah, these ones exactly. See, you understand. Treasure heart. He stores up his treasure. <laughs> With his, his earthly heart. treasures. Which is now, just... now, are these like something symbolic or um, like are these people's hearts? Um, These ones aren't. These are like Valentine's he stole. Oh, okay. Boxes of chocolate. <laughs> Uh, heart-shaped cards. Mm-hmm. His, his his day is like Valentine's Day. Yeah, so like day. on Valentine's Day, he comes and raids the town of all their Valentines, and then he goes and buries them somewhere. That one's a real heart. <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> shriveled up. <laughs> it's been in the sand for <laughs> quite some time. Um... I, I feel this is a good time to apologize <laughs> for everything we do. <laughs> so I'm sorry. I think every time's a good time. We talked to the to dad apologize. of the guy who won our uh, <laughs> our book at auction recently. Mm-hmm. I'd like to apologize specifically to him. Yes. And the whole family. I'm sorry that that you now have to look at that book. Yeah, he... I mean, I know you've got it like on its own bookshelf. Not because it's important, but mostly you're like, what if it touches our other books? <laughs> we like those books. Mm-hmm. You know, they like have it in like a glass yeah. case, but not it might... not because they care about it, because they don't want it to spread. Yes, you know, like they don't like, want the what, ink what to leak the, out. What did the other books become as bad as this one? Strangle their other books or something that books do. Mm-hmm. Our our book does. Anyway, so glad you yeah. won that auction. Yeah. So sorry that he. He walked up to us and he's like, my son watches your channel. And we're like, we're sorry for everything. We are. And it's true. You know what I'm not sorry about? I'm not sorry about Treasure Heart. Treasure Heart, the pirate. <laughs> uh-huh. I think you should be sorry I for him. Be, but I'm not. And his band of seagulls. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm really happy about them. Those guys are great. <laughs> no one else wanted to follow him. Yeah. He has seagulls. Oh man, the pen. You, you gotta push the button. That was impressive that you had a solution that we talked about earlier today. Mm-hmm. This is where it starts to be ocean. 
Oh. Just instant cut instant off. Instant cut off. Uh, <laughs> it really brings into question where he's standing again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe there's just like a... There's not even like a shore. It's just... He's just like in his own pit. <laughs> and I'm going to do something called shading. Are, are we allowed to shade? It's not going to be good. No one looking at it will think it's called shading. Shading is much easier if you use lesser art instruments like pencils. I don't understand. This is like you're looking into this hole. So is he floating then? He's falling. <laughs> like he just like happened to be standing like where it's like a sinkhole yeah see but now it makes sense <laughs> okay it sense well so if that hole has a back to it how come the other hole doesn't oh man 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 oh that's interesting why is the pen not liking me i'm wearing a drawing glove and everything um, because you, you made up the whole drawing glove matters thing. It does matter. The drawing glove doesn't affect the pen at all. There. Okay. Background. And I did it with the pen messing up, so it's equally impressive. No. And there's like a heart that missed. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that's you what happened with the seagulls. seagulls. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This drawing is not good. <laughs> Pirate's face, though, is on point. That's... <laughs> is it? I'm proud of that face. That treasure chest, though, is something to be pitied. Seagulls. See, Maybe we just need some more seagulls. I think the worst part about all of this the people it's, it's hard not to, that it's he's hard to stealing. Narrow down one worse thing it's not that he steals their valentines it's that he shows up what does that mean like if this guy came around i would be like can't we just pay you to not come around maybe they leave him like an offering of the like a treasure chest valentines. full of valentines yeah just like right at the shore he just like pulls up but I mean, that takes away the joy of and then pillaging. It's like, and also, here's all the, here's a bunch of oranges and pineapples. They don't, want, do the... they don't want him to be healthy. <laughs> well, they don't want him to look like that either. Like he must have scurvy. <laughs> I don't think scurvy just makes you not shave. <laughs> like <laughs> that's not his only problem. I mean, he has lots of problems. It's true. But and where? Did, what did he lose his hand and foot to? Seagulls. <laughs> <laughs> like trying to train them. Yeah. Seals are vicious, man. Mm -hmm. You ever gone to the beach with any food in your hand? Yeah, and I mean, when this guy, all he steals is candy and chocolate. Yeah. The seagulls are after him. Oh, come on, Pen. Just get through mm -hmm. this part. But he doesn't He doesn't even eat the candy and chocolate. He just buries it. Well, I mean, he probably eats some. I don't know his whole backstory. Treasure Heart the Pirate. Treasure Heart the Pirate, yeah. If you can have a Captain Feather Sword pirate, then Treasure Heart's not that far of a. Treasure Heart even sounds cool. Treasure mm -hmm. Heart. You say it with a pirate accent. Treasure <laughs> Heart. Me hearties. Mm -hmm. Arr. I think he'd be kicked Name out. Name is Treasure Heart. I think I think <laughs> they would accept Feather Sword before they accept Treasure yeah, Heart. Yeah, but then the seagulls come. Like they might be like, okay, Treasure Heart, we admit your name is pretty cool, but at least Captain Feather Sword, like, has friends. Yeah, he might have friends. He has. He can swim. He has a whole song about how good he can swim. It's true. This guy. There's no songs written about this guy. There are so songs. <laughs> ballads. Tell, tell me Power one. ballads. Tell, tell me one song written about this guy. Oh, there was an old pirate as salty as the sea. He came and he pillaged. That's what we all did see. <laughs> <laughs> it's a different, a different sea. 
you see. Right. He came and he took, and he took and he came. All of our hearts became his. <laughs> it's like a non-rhyming verse. Right, yeah. yeah it goes on. <laughs> There's okay. like a lament. Clearly. Oh, our valentines, we wished to give, but then he took them, and now we can't. <laughs> <laughs> they, they gave up on rhyming partway yeah. through the, yes, yeah. the song. They did. They're like writing, they write the first few verses, and then they're like, you know what? Songs don't have to rhyme. No, That's yeah, not a requirement. So much extra work. <laughs> Plus, he took our thesaurus. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know? Yeah. Took our rhyming dictionary. So. Someone put the thesaurus as a mm -hmm. it was a heart shaped thesaurus. <laughs> yeah, you, you gotta be real careful. Like, yeah, his whole, the whole like, you know, wherever he pillages Caribbean, mm -hmm. now just is void of heart shaped things. Like mm -hmm. they don't make them anymore. Yeah, you know, they used to like everything. Yeah, was heart -shaped. it's like they tell tales about it. You know, like a kid, like you tell your children, like they're like, look, I made it in the shape of a heart, and they're like. Ooh. The cursed shape. <laughs> we don't do that, children. Burn it. And they like throw it into the fire, their mm -hmm. Valentine. You yeah. know? They make one exception on Valentine's Day. <laughs> yeah. And it's to appease him. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, because if you don't, then he he has to go for other hearts. Yes. <laughs> you know? that's, that's, that's where that's it is. That's the one shriveled heart yeah, in there. It's, it's a little the... see, this guy's terrifying, right? <laughs> yeah, but they, they they like sit around campfires and tell the tale of mm -hmm. Treasure Heart the Pirate yeah. and, like his, everyone, and his band of vicious seagulls. Yeah. Like everyone thinks of him as a joke. Yeah. Like all the kids are just like, oh, that's just a joke. Uh -huh. And then they, and then the one year they are like, yeah. oh, that's not. Yeah, kids, kids joke about it, right? Like yeah. in secret behind their parents' mm -hmm. back. They're like making heart shaped Valentines and they're mm -hmm. like, nothing's going to happen. And then he just like emerges from the sand <laughs> yeah. from the shoreline and it's like seagulls flocking yeah. <laughs> that's how you know he's coming right do you want to know why he uses seagulls by the way why because this <laughs> they're basically heart shaped oh yeah yeah at a distance uh -huh. i'm not gonna leave that one in the drawing though just it was just a demonstration right. i would have used a sticky note but then the people at home wouldn't have seen it mm-hmm uh, yeah. What else? There's like stuff under the ground, right? We can have like a, it's like a bone. Just a, just a random bone on the beach. It's under the ground. <laughs> a rock. It's like a. So if we're seeing like a, X-ray vision. Another rock. Of this. Why is there no shore? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're looking at it. It's a very unique view we have. That's what art allows you to have. It allows you to have X-ray vision. Yeah, you know, but but not sure. Like the the only part that is actually see through the ocean, you can't see through. Guess what that is? A flaming heart. No, I don't. I don't. A Sonic's head. It's... Yeah, I'm gonna leave that in the drawing just for the sake of. Maybe I have to draw a line here. <laughs> it's like a... It's just a drop-off. But well, it, it should just, be like a curved. Straight. Like... It's not, though. <laughs> not every beach is curved. I, I think that that's, that is a false thing that you just said. I think every beach is curved. Because the water, like, slowly, you know moves it those aren't thought bubbles those are real bubbles anyway what? treasure treasure why, arch. why would the fish have real bubbles i don't know they don't breathe air that one does okay that one does i'll i'll accept i guess do you have a choice <laughs> that's why i'm accepting I'd love to be there the day when somebody's looking at one of our drawings and they're like, aw. And then they look at the name and they're like, aw. <laughs> that poor. Yeah. They're like, oh, this is that pretty poor... good. This is pretty good for a six year old. Yeah, you're right. And then they look at the age. Uh huh. Yeah. Like, you know that happens. Mm -hmm. You know, the yeah. ones we have in galleries, people are like, aw, they let a yeah. child's drawing in. And they're like, aw, <laughs> they let.
I shouldn't have left this in. <laughs> Why? Why yeah. is this here? It's true. It's true. And it is time for us to close for the day. I hope you enjoy storing up not treasure in your hearts. Oh. Don't do it. You can't expect people to enjoy. No, I don't even expect them to get to this part of the video. I fully expect that if we're still talking after 50-ish minutes that mm -hmm. no one is listening. You know? Yeah. Like they've come, they've maybe there's a chance they click to the end of the video to see what I finally figure finished drawing, mm -hmm. and this is the part they're listening to. If so, welcome. Sorry you didn't listen to the rest of the riveting conversation for the last fifty-five and a half minutes. Mm -hmm. You know, but it wasn't it wasn't better than this. Nope, and it's not getting any better. That's almost like what we say after this. Yeah, I know. I do that sometimes. It's just <laughs> it's, it's such a true statement. Mm -hmm. Kind of like God made you special, and He loves you very much. That's how yeah. Veggie Tales ends. Yeah. 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 We're like, God made us special. Was I supposed to say something after that? No. Was it? Oh, okay. And he made squid. Yeah. And black ink. He didn't make us artists. No, he did not. He has withheld those skills. Mm -hmm. I was talking to someone today who was like, oh, I don't want to draw because... I would be even worse than you guys. And I was like telling him and I'm like, okay, first of all, even if that's true, when's the last time you drew? Is it every week? Like we do? Like we you guys you guys look at this and be like, oh, they're pro they're probably able to draw and this is just like a joke. Yeah, right? No, this is the best we can do. This is the level of our skill with the tools in front of us, right? Like now. we've been drawing every week for years. Like, like on this channel, we, we drew, yeah. we have notebooks that we drew before we started this channel. We draw yeah, a lot and, um, we're terrible and we're not getting better. But treasure heart, the pirate's pretty cool. <laughs> See you next time. Bye. As always, we're surprised you made it this far into our video. There's no way we could possibly ask you to subscribe to this atrocity, so we won't. We would say share it with your friends, but it's probably better for wasting your enemy's time. We're probably not going to get any better, but we will keep drawing. See you next time.